All right, today I will be taking the eight values quiz, something that I've already taken a few times before, but uh, I'm just here to show you the correct opinions to have. So <laughs> without further ado, let's get into it. You will be presented with a series of statements for each one. Click the button with your opinion on it. I think you mean fact. <laughs> Oppression by corporations is more of a concern than oppression by governments. <clears throat> well, actually, they both are. <laughs> it is necessary for the government to intervene in the economy to protect consumers. Only a little bit. You don't want a uh, you don't want a USSR or Venezuela. You don't want a complete government takeover of the market. But <clears throat> you do want to. Um, you don't want to regulate things by age. You uh, don't want child labor. You want labor laws. You uh, it'd be great if we could legalize a few things. And uh, yeah, we need unions. We uh, need workplace democracy, hopefully. So, mildly agree. The fear of the markets, the fear of the people. Again, mildly agree. It is better to maintain a balanced budget than to ensure welfare for all citizens. You see, on principle. As a rural utilitarian that I am, it is most important to make sure the greatest well-being for the greatest number of people with given rules, such as you don't harvest organs of old people for young people, <clears throat> or, um, for example, someone who's crippled, because it will overall improve the well-being of society, because at any given point, you could just be stripped of your rights, and we don't want society living in fear like that. So, it is better to maintain a balanced budget and to ensure welfare for all citizens. So, mildly disagree. Although, uh, a budget is very important. <clears throat> Publicly funded research is more beneficial than leaving it to the market. You see, with, with research, I mean, that's going to come in time. I think that the free market should absolutely be doing the research on behalf of uh, the government. With, who will implement it later on? You know, tariffs on international trade are important to encourage local production. You see, I don't really like the idea of tariffs because I don't like the idea of nations. <laughs> Speaking of which, I um, I mean, if it was like a union, like the European Union, except it was for the entire planet, then that would be understandable. Uh, so uh, that would totally eliminate the need for uh, tariffs in the first place. However, I do like taxes as a, um, uh, as a small sacrifice for a universal good. So I'm going to go with mildly disagree. From each according to ability to each according to his needs. Well, I'm not a communist, but I uh, but also don't like exploitation either. So mildly agree. I do think that uh, collective ownership is uh, important, but <clears throat> not completely. It would be best if social programs were abolished in favor of private charity. Absolutely not. Taxes should be increased on the rich to provide for the poor. Uh, yeah, I agree. Although they wouldn't have to be raised so much if we st put more things into the market. For example, all the drugs, all the sex, all the adult sex work, you know. All the taboo stuff, all the degeneracy, all that good stuff. Inheritance is a legitimate form of wealth. Yeah, of course. Basic utility should be publicly owned. Yeah, mildly agree. Not everything should be publicly owned. Government intervention is a threat to the economy. It depends. Those with greater ability to pay should receive better health care. I disagree unless we're talking, mildly disagree, because we could be talking about aesthetics. We could be talking about Botox. But as far as... Uh, you need an organ transplant, uh, you know, like a J Jacob Rothschild, for example, who got like a dozen heart transplants because his old greedy ass. <laughs> Quality education is a right of all people. Yes, I agree, mildly. Uh, and if someone has more money to pay for slightly better education, that's fine. But a four-year free public university, that's what we should be doing. The means of production should belong to the workers who use them moderately. The United Nations should be abolished. Absolutely not. We need to expand on it. Military action by our nation is often necessary to protect it. 
Yeah, true. I mean, in the meantime, <clears throat> you have to be able to protect your country. <laughs> you know, it's, it's uh, we need to do these union merger through peaceful means, not conquest. I support your uh, regional union, such as the European Union. Actually, I support a new world order, but that's besides the point. It is important to maintain our national sovereignty. Fuck you. And a united world government would, yes. It is more important to retain peaceful relations that, yes. <clears throat> Wars do not need to be justified to other countries. No. Wait. Um, you could be defending yourself. Um, so, uh, wars do not need to be justified. Uh, slightly disagree. They do need to be justified uh, on peaceful grounds. Military spending is a waste of money. Uh, moderately disagree. We do need military to survive. International aid is a waste of money. Um, no. My nation is great. Fuck that. Research should be conducted on an international scale. Yes. Government should be held accountable. Uh, well, is the international community fucking stupid? I mean, that's uh, that's a question. So mildly agree. Even when protesting, an authoritarian government violence is not accepted. No, overthrow that authoritarian shit. <laughs> My religious values. <laughs> Our nation's vice. <laughs> It is very important to maintain law and order. No, mildly, mildly disagree. Because uh, I'm a pretty libertarian myself, although I'm not an anarchist. So I want to go all the way. The general populace makes poor decisions. Nope. Mildly disagree. Physician assisted suicide should be legal. Yeah, it should moderately agree, but there should be a whole lot of. Uh, there should be a whole lot of checks in place for that. Uh, can't have any uh, false... Um, uh, you can't have any false authorization. It has to be 100% of the discretion that the, uh, the person... The sacrifice of some separate liberties is... Nope. Absolutely not. Government surveillance is... Uh, you see... Uh, they're going to need to surveil their own property, but otherwise, I don't want. I don't like them listening in on phones. I don't. I don't even like getting uh, target advertisements through the data that it collects. <laughs> so, moderately disagree, unless uh, on government property. The existence of the state is a threat to our liberty. Uh, yeah, that's a loaded question, and it's. Uh, Right. Smack in the middle. It depends. It totally depends. Regardless of political opinions, it is important to side with <laughs> all authority should be questioned. Yep. A hierarchical state is best. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, it depends. The government, it is important the government follows the majority opinion, even if it is wrong. You see, wrong is amb totally ambiguous, right? Uh, what's wrong in Saudi Arabia is uh, definitely acceptable here. You, you know, we have the, the LGBTQ rights, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, the majority could, the, the majority could be the Saudi Arabia. So I'm going to go with moderately agree. The stronger the leadership, the better. Uh, well, it sh the leadership should be strong, but it shouldn't be uh, tyrannical. So it depends. Uh, neutral democracy is more than a decision make. Yeah, absolutely. Environmental regulations are essential. Yes, but not to the point that it's um, choking business. A better world will come from automation, science, and uh, technology. Yeah, duh. Children should be educated in religious or traditional values. Children should be educated. They should not be indoctrinated. Uh, if you were to present all religions on an equal plane. In a religion class, for example, that's fine. But if you want to uh, drill the one true faith down a kid's throat from the time they're born, that is not acceptable. So, uh, in traditional values, there are there is some value in tradition. Uh, for example, I mean, holding the door open for a lady or something, you know, that's just cute little cultural things. It's totally fine. So, uh, moderately disagree. <clears throat> Traditions are of no value on their own. 
Uh, I, I disagree slightly. Religion should absolutely not play a role in government. Churches should be taxed the same way other institutions are taxed. Um, yeah, duh. Climate change is one of the greatest threats. See, that's obvious. Now, whether or not you're willing to pay for it is irrelevant, but climate change is real. And if you disagree, then uh, maybe you need to get a brain check. It is important that we work as a united world to combat climate change, obviously. And the methods, you know, the, <clears throat> the means I'm sure we can disagree with. Society was better many years ago. Yeah, slavery? No, thank you. It is important that we maintain the traditions. What traditions? I mean, it's... Tradition in itself is so uh, ambiguous. It, uh, although it typically leans conservative, it, uh, it tradition in itself means nothing. What traditions are we talking about? It is important that we think in the long term beyond our lifespans. Obviously, that is the most uh, important... One <clears throat> of the most important values that anyone should have for a better society is to think about the future. Reason is more important. Yeah, duh. Drug use should be legalized or decriminalized. Yeah, duh. Sex, Same-sex marriage should be legal. Actually, all sex, uh, besides minors, of course, should, should be legal. And uh, marriage is has a whole lot of flaws in the first place. So... It should be entirely voluntary relationships between people without involvement of the government and taxes. Except for uh, maybe custody. They could get involved there. No cultures are superior to others. You know, I disagree. Some cultures in the uh, Middle East, for example, you know, tossing homosexuals off of rooftops. It's not very good. Uh, sex outside marriage is immoral. Uh, on... Uh, if we're just specifically talking about marriage here, so if it if it decides sex is immoral, it would totally depend, and I would have to put disagree, but strongly because it doesn't marriage is stupid. So if we accept migrants at all, it is important that they assimilate to our culture. Uh, moderately disagree uh, because it, it depends on what kind of culture it is, and is our culture any good either? Maybe their maybe their culture is better. <laughs> so uh, abortion should be prohibited in most or all cases uh, absolutely not you know if, if you value autonomy over everything then um, and uh, don't think that our lives are just a means to another person's life then uh, then yeah you you have to be willing to accept abortion up until the point that you can give birth to it because if you are at the mercy of one particular person's resources without a social safety net to fall back on for example uh, foster care or something then uh, there is no right to life. That's that's just a myth. There's just a right to hope for uh, someone's charity. So that's where that ends. And, and uh, the abortion argument is uh, probably the deepest philosophical version. So if you uh, don't accept my uh, reasoning, then I don't care. You suck. I'm smarter. Uh, <laughs> gun ownership should be prohibited for those without a valued reason. Uh, no, guns are based and uh, awesome. I support single payer universal health care. Uh, yeah, duh. Prostitution should be illegal. Nope. Maintaining family val what family values? To chase progress at all costs is dangerous. Um, I mean, on principle, we should chase progress, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say dis disagree. It, it could be dangerous, but we should, on principle, fight through the uh, the potential trouble. That it causes genetic genetic modification is a force for good. Yeah, duh. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm literally trying to get into a biomedical engineering degree. Like the next step in humanity is, you know, we have artificial organs now. What what's the the next point going to be? Nanotechnology, uh, editing people's brains. If we could um, <clears throat> literally Thanos snap fucking mental disorders out of people's minds from pedophilia to uh, chronic pain and Parkinson's disease and you know ADHD obsessive compulsive disorder Tourette's you know that would be that would be pretty amazing you know uh, and maybe it could be even be a great middle grounds we could genetically 
alter the LGBT out. Everyone will just be like, <laughs> okay, too far. <laughs> we should open our borders to immigration. Um, yeah, duh, globalist here. Government should be as concerned about foreigners as they are about their own citizens. Uh, yeah, obviously. All people should be it should be treated equally. Um, regard factors like culture. Well, what if your culture is trash? What if your culture is violent? So, if we're uh, talking about treating equally based uh, based on you know like um, giving the same sentence if they commit the same crime, then of course. But we're saying like we should not be acceptable of violent culture. So, mildly agree. It is important that we further my group's goals, but yeah, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, centrist. Well, almost. Uh, almost centrist. I'm kind of like 60%, 40, 60, 40. Internationalist, obviously. I'm surprised I didn't get more libertarian, very progressive, uh, social libertarianism. All right, uh, there you have it. Here is uh, the, uh, uh, the correct opinion to have. A anything else, and you need to be uh, deplatformed, ban banned, uh, shunned. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. Social libertarian, libertarian socialism. That's a uh, you know, libertarian socialism would probably be a little, a little more. The 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 red, uh, the the red green cutoff would probably be around here. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it.